Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Logan Shatter. If you don't already know who I am today, I'm at the local. Uh, I'm overexposed and I also don't have my hair tie, so my hair is down today. But as you guys know by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the five scooter hacks that you guys can do at the skate park. This video is directed more towards beginners, solely for the fact of most pro riders or am riders already know these tricks from learning them by being at the skate park, but if you haven't been at the skate park that much, here's some uh, scooter tips. But before we get into that, let's strap on the GoPro, get a little stretch segment going and get warmed up, and then we'll get into our first hack or tip. All right, I'm kind of running on a tight schedule here because I have to go to Bamberg in an hour and a half. I don't have a lot of time to film this video. We gonna have to uh, skip the stretch segment. I kind of just did a couple quick stretches as I still am while I'm standing here, but let's get warmed up and get that blood flowing. Oh, the hella grip? Yeah. Shout kudos. Shouts out to having the, the Logan Schneider sticker. If you guys want one of those, you guys are always welcome to go to Trinity Pro Scooters and get yourself one in the shop. All you guys have to do is go into the shop, say hi, and they'll always hand you a, a sticker if you ask them for one. <laughs> We got matching decks now. Homie broke his deck like a couple days ago. He was like, what deck should I get? And I was like, get the Fusion. And now he got the same exact one I got. So far he's been loving it, I think. So, you know, if you guys want a good deck, get yourself Fusion Entropy 19.5 or the five wide or the box, which is also five wide. And use code Pinkies up at Trinity Pro Scooters to save yourself 10%. But let's ride a little bit more. All right, I think that was enough warming up. Now let's get into tip number one. Tip number one, baby powder. You may be wondering, why would I need baby powder at the skate park? Well, baby powder actually makes your hands stop from sweating when you're riding. The problem when you ride is if it's hot out or something, the sun and heat can make your palms get very sweaty. And, and then when you touch your grips, they start to slip around and then you can't have as much control over your scooter. Well, if you always have baby powder in your backpack, you can always just take your, the baby powder, put some on your hands or on the grips, and then you rub it in, and it stops the sweat glands a little bit from producing as much sweat so you can grip to your grips better and your hands aren't slipping around. That's tip number one. Now let's get back into some more riding. Get a little quarter bank trick. <laughs> Second T bright bar. Let's go. That was a nice little segment more of riding. Now let's get into tip number two. Tip number two. Tip number two is gonna have to do with how you build your scooter together. As you can see. In the back of your scooter, you have one side, the nut, and the other side, the axle. This is where your Allen key goes. This is where your wrench goes. Now, when you're riding, a big thing that happens is you do grinds, obviously. Well, whichever way you stand, goofy or regular, whichever way you grind the most on, either on the left or the right, or for you guys, the right and the left, you're gonna wanna put 
the nut on the opposite side of where you dominantly grind. If you stand on your scooter like this, you're going to be grinding on this side the most. So you're gonna wanna put the nut on the opposite side of that. Or to make it simpler, the part where the axle goes through, where it, the Allen key side, you're gonna wanna put that through on the side where you mostly grind on. The reason for that, when you grind on your scooter, the deck tends to bend up. No matter how good your deck is, no matter how professional, if you have a deck that looks like this in this shape, this is excluding boxed ends. That's a whole different story. Decks that are shaped like this, if you do grinds, this will eventually bend up. It's a thin piece of metal, it will always bend up. And when that happens, you may not be able to get your socket in there anymore. A great tip is to put the Allen key side on the side that you dominantly grind on because once that deck bends up, all you have to do is slide your Allen key, which is a lot skinnier, and you put it in there, you could just put your socket on the other side. Now let's get back to some riding. I hope you guys found tip number two helpful. Let's try the normal quarter bank. We'll do something on there. I don't know what yet. Psych, we're gonna do something over the box because I can't think of a quarter bank trick. We're just gonna keep riding and honestly kind of just go what goes off the top of my head before I start overthinking and then I don't get this video done. A little sketch, but we landed it. Now let's get a little hydration. I'm almost out of water. We're gonna sit in my uh, something I never do. I'm gonna try a three T-bog. How about that? I never do those. Oh, it's kind of scary. We gonna get it though. I don't know if I count that. I didn't really grab the deck. We'll do it again. We'll clean it up. Here we go. That was good. Let's get a quad up over the box and then we'll get to into tip number three. I don't know if that was three or four. Now let's get into tip number three. Tip number three. Tip number three is gonna have to do a lot from tip number two. And that is, again, your back axle. Let's say you're at the skate park and your scooter sounds like this. That means your back wheel is loose. How do you tighten that? Well, you should always have some tools on you at the skate park, at least an Allen key. You should always have an Allen key. But let's say all you have is an Allen key, but you also need the wrench and you don't have your wrench. Well, normally you would just put the wrench in, put your Allen key in, and tighten, right? But let's say you don't have this. Another handy tool to always have is a screwdriver. I'm gonna be using a screwdriver as an example, but you can use a lot of other things for this tip. You can even use sticks if you really have to, if you're at the skate park and you're in a pickle. I'm gonna get a little bit closer to show you guys this. So you can see the nut right here. You have your Allen key, as so. You put it in, and to tighten it, you just jam whatever you have in there between the deck and the nut and what that's gonna do is it's gonna stop the nut from spinning so you can tighten your back wheel, like so. See how the axle's spinning but the, but the nut is not? Well, I'm tightening the wheel right now, and now, no more wiggle, boom. That's tip number three. Now, this is gonna be the last riding segment because I don't have very much more time, so I'm gonna have to do the last tips back to back. So let's get our last seven or so minutes of riding in, and then I'm gonna have to get into the last two tips on their own. I wanna try to do a trick from the landing of the box over onto the other bank. Let's start with jumping it, and then we'll see where it goes from there. I feel pretty good. I don't know how I'm feeling about doing a trick over that right now though. Let's do a three triple bar over the box. Ah! I got scared. I wasn't going fast enough, I don't think. I only got like literally one more minute, so I, I, don't, I only think I can get this triple bar in and then I'm gonna have to get into the last two tips, so we gotta land it right now. Ah! Come on, right now. Gotta go get. Ah! There we go. All right, now let's get the last two tips. Now moving right on to 
tip number four. Tip number four is gonna have a lot to do with your grips. Again, just like in tip number one, but it's gonna be the opposite. Instead of your hands being slippery, it's gonna be your grips being slippery underneath. This is called throttle grip. Throttle grip is when your grips have some kind of wet substance underneath, like water, and your grips are slipping around. There's a lot of ways you can get throttle grip. Let's say you were at the skate park and it started raining, you had to ride home. The rainwater could have gotten into your grip and your grips now slip around. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix throttle grip the best you possibly can. There are ways of throttle grip to where you can't fix, such as your grip when you do bar spins and, and hold your grips right here. It may stretch your grip out a little bit because of the constant pressure right here and if you see a gap between your grip and your bar in this area that means that your grip is stretched and when it's slipping around there's literally nothing you can do about that there's no trick no fix if that's happening it's like your grips are broken you might as well get new ones unless the throttle does not bother you now let's say it's just water underneath your grip what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide your grips back like so only to the part where it's about two rolls maybe one roll and you're basically gonna go like this and kind of take your hand and dry off the spot and you're gonna go back and you go and you're gonna kind of do the same thing on the rubber part of the grip and you're basically gonna repeat this process and keep rolling it back until your grips are somewhat dry and you may have to do the same thing with the opposite side where you roll it back a little bit dry it off roll it back and do that process until your grips are completely dry and there is no more throttle i've had to do this literally two days ago so i know it works it's just a kind of a tedious process and there's a certain way to do it so once you figure it out on your own it's literally exactly how i explained it just you have to trial and error it until you figure it out now into the fifth and final tip this one is going to require your allen key six mil this one you can actually do at home where you have tools and then this one's also going to require my wallet i'm going to need either some kind of piece of metal to put in between my clamp i have a washer in here that i'm going to be using but you can always use one cent piece or some kind of other piece of metal you can jam in between that's flat and round like so again i'm going to be using a washer but you can always use a coin now that we have everything we need i'm going to be showing you guys the trick let me take off my bars and then i'll show you guys what i mean now i have my bars off and let's say i want to take off my fork but my clamp won't come off the fork even with all my clamp bolts completely loose and it's stuck on there or vice versa you want to get the clamp on but you can't get it on because the fork is too big there's this tip where you take a piece of metal and you put it in between your clamp bolt and then you put your clamp bolt on the opposite side and screw it in you put the piece of metal in here and then you tighten it and basically what it does is it spreads your clamp out so you can easily put your clamp on and back off let me show you guys this process this process does not apply to ihc the reason is because that whole compression system doesn't rely on your clamp being well i guess if your clamp is stuck to your bars then this will apply to ihc also so i guess that's not true now i have my compression loose but my clamp is not coming off so i have to take out all my clamp bolts i got all my clamp bolts out and as you can see the clamp is still pretty tight on here now it's not that tight but i'm still going to do the example just to show you guys one clamp bolt and i'm gonna put it on the second to last clamp hole and we're gonna put it in on the opposite side of where it should normally go and it's gonna screw in like so and once you see that bolt coming through in the middle you're gonna take your washer or coin or whatever piece of metal you're gonna hold it right there and then you're gonna tighten it the rest of the way until it's in there show you guys like that now you just take your allen key and all you're gonna do is tighten it a little bit and it should make the clamp loose you don't want to stretch it too far because then you'll break your clamp you align your clamp however you want it and then you just loosen it and now the clamp is tight you take your washer out screw back out your bolt and then you put your scooter back together that was the fifth and final step let's get it right into the outro now that was the five best scooter hacks you guys will now know at the skate park so tell your friends and if you guys thought this video was helpful please let me know in the comments down below if i should make another one of these thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and tell